say, how do you deal with public speaking and presentation as a financial analyst or a job in the field? So with public speaking, you really just have to practice and not even like practice to just practice. You have to, one thing I've known, I'm not good at public speaking, but if I'm speaking about something that I'm really knowledgeable about, you know, it's going to, I'm going to be good at speaking about that. Right. So one thing I recommended, you know, I've, I was ne I've never been a great public speaker, but if I'm speaking about something, I'm, you have to be really knowledgeable about what you're going to talk about, because that's going to give you the confidence. Because a lot of people that are, um, you know, that get nervous in front of people that are not great at public speaking, you know, they get super nervous when people start asking questions like, hey, so I was this like, you know, the panic. But if you're really, really knowledgeable about what you're going to be talking about, then, you know, you're going to be great. You're going to be great. That's how I got, you know, over, you know, the fear of public speaking, especially if you're a financial analyst, most of the time you're going to be explaining, like, let's say you, it's a report that you built for a client, but then they're confused about what the numbers mean or whatever. Now, like, Hey, what is this? What does this mean? And all you got to do is walk them through. Okay. This is actually the number that's coming from here. And we got this by doing this and that, and you can, you know, project, it's like when you, especially in finance, it's a lot easier for introverts to kind of like speak or, um, you know, be more social because you're speaking about things that you enjoy, things that you're doing, things that you're really, really knowledgeable about. And sometimes when you're speaking about things that you're super knowledgeable about, you tend to be less nervous, right? Because you're, you have a lot of knowledge of that.